It is Comedy Roast Night on The Masked Singer. We've got two new contestants, the Avocado and the Snowstorm, and the Bride coming back for more to see who will remain through next week's episode. Let's talk to Mass Singer. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It, and welcome to my Masked Singer recap and reaction video. This is uh, for Comedy Roast Night. They've been doing these theme nights now for uh, a little while. So we've got The Bride back for more, uh, performing for the second time in hopes of going to uh, the, the third episode in this sort of mix. And then we'll have uh, the, the semifinals after that, I guess. Uh, Snowstorm and Avocado, though, new entries to uh, The Masked Singer. So we've got a bunch of clues for them. Uh, first, though, I want to welcome you to Dan Reviews. We do these Masked Singer videos every single week and uh, tons of uh, love in the comments from you guys, which is always appreciated. If you're not one of my subscribers, please uh, think about doing that, too. That would help the channel out as well. But uh, I love talking to you guys on the comments because it really helps me kind of form uh, some of my thoughts on... On who might be under the mask. But with this season, it's been a little difficult because we've had two unmaskings every single episode. So uh, one of these tonight, I am 1,000% sure on. So much so, didn't even hear them sing. I saw the clue package, fast forwarded, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, heard heard the panel's guesses. Um, so yeah, I'm 100% I'm on one. But the other one, I hope, sticks around till next week because I don't know. I'm very up in the air on them. Um, but uh, first... The bride performs, so we'll talk about uh, her in a moment, which is really a guy. Um, but anyway, Nick was calling her Queen Bride, because the costume is female, at least. Um, but with uh, the whole roast thing, we started out with like a little, you know, funny pratfall clip with Jenny McCarthy. Um, and everyone, you know, dressing the part. Nicole was dressed up like a, like a Pagliacci type clown. Um, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so, all right. There's nothing, I mean, you know, there's, they didn't have a, a special guest panelist or anything. So there's not really much to say about the theme of the episode. But, uh, so far with these themes, they have had people under the mask that sort of matched that description. You know, last week was Hall of Fame week, and so we had, you know, George Foreman and, uh, you know, George Clinton in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, so, mm, you know, are there comedians under the two new masks? I think so. I think there are. So we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so The Bride... As they've been doing, uh, people that have been returning, they don't give us a ton of clues on, but uh, they gave us one additional clue, uh, and it said, act up. It was a set list, so maybe a musician, um, and it said, act up at the bottom as part of like the, the set list. Um, so an actor and a singer. Um, and then after the performance of uh, White Wedding by Billy Idol, uh, John Lovitz came out. And he was sort of the, the clue giver for all of these people this week. And uh, he said that uh, this person has a movie career and likes to show off their chest. Um, so the guesses uh, from the panel, Robin thought it could be Flea. Uh, Ken said Matthew McConaughey because of the shirtless clue, I guess. Um, and then Nicole had a really great guess, David Arquette. Uh, he's somebody who would definitely do this show, likes to try different things. Um, and is, you know, the, the right caliber, I think, celebrity for this program. And, um, you know, the, the bride was putting on a British accent. David Arquette likes to sort of be really silly and wearing, you know, bride costume, you know, this big female dinosaur, but it's really a guy in there. Um, so I, I, I did not hate that David Arquette guess, but, um, I, I am stuck on the wrestling clues that I was getting last week when they said like smashed a rock and all of that stuff. So um, we're going to do The Bride first because they got voted out. Uh, I, I don't know which of the other two, the newcomers, is uh, getting voted out. They will go on to sing the Battle Royale here in a moment that I'm going to watch. But The Bride was first one out. So let's let's just stop there. Um, and the, the ending guesses were pretty much the same. Robin, you know, stuck with Flea. Ken stuck with Matthew McConaughey. Uh, Jenny, who we did not hear from originally, she said it could be Vin Diesel. Um, which is interesting because the panelists, I don't think, ever see that opening clue where the person comes out and, and the bride's was smashed a rock. Vin Diesel obviously, you know, went against the rock sort of as foes in the couple of the Fast and Furious movies. But I don't even think the panelists saw that clue. So that's an interesting guess. 
Um, but uh, Nicole changed hers from David Arquette, which I liked, um, but she was picking up the Robin uh, thought of a singer that maybe is in a few movies, um, and so she said Sammy Hagar. I, I don't think he's been in a lot of movies, to be completely honest, but um, all right. So last week, I was between two people. I was between uh, Steve Austin and Chris Jericho, uh, both, you know, famous wrestlers, obviously. They fought against The Rock, um, and just all the clues last week, you know, sold out arenas, um, I live on the road, blah, blah, blah. You guys in the comments were very, very much in the Chris Jericho camp. I ended up saying last week, maybe Steve Austin, but you guys were all, no, it's, it's Jericho, it's Jericho. Okay, so Jericho is in a famous band called Fozzy. Uh, they've had a bunch of, of top 10 rock radio hits. Um, and I didn't actually hear it really in the voice last week, but... I think he was trying to throw people off. He sang All Star by Smash Mouth. He was putting on this British accent. This week, he sang White Wedding, a rocker, and he, he hit those those high notes that he needed to um, to convince me that it was Chris Jericho. And then the John Lovitz clue, um, you know, movie career. Now, look, neither of these guys has a big movie career. They've both done movies. But Chris Jericho is currently in a movie called Terrifier 2. It was a big movie around Halloween a few weeks ago. It made the top 10 at the box office. And he is like fourth or fifth build in that movie. So he has a current movie playing. Um, other than that, yeah, he's done minor things here or there. But at the same time, wrestling is also sort of acting. Not that that's movies, but he is showing his chest, certainly, on the in the wrestling ring. Um, so after the vocal and... Um, the, the movie star clue, I'm going to change my uh, answer to Chris Jericho. I'm going to go with you guys. Uh, I hope it's not Steve Austin, but I think the, the, the screeching sort of uh, thing at the end of White Wedding this week convinced me that this is uh, somebody who is a professional singer uh, as well as maybe a wrestler too, and that leads me to Chris Jericho. So let's go to the Take It Off, see what we've got here. AEW. It is Jericho. Okay. All right. When he said AEW, I don't know. I know WWE when they get to the fringe ones. I don't know that. But all right. It is Chris Jericho. Yep. Lead singer Fozzie. Four-time New York Times bestseller. I didn't know that. And there he is uh, showing his showing his chest. All right. Uh, so nobody got that. That's uh, all right. Chris Jericho. So now I am uh, what? Uh, 13 for 16. Uh, that's pretty great. Uh, we love that. Um, so Nick is, is asking him why Chris Jericho wanted to uh, be the, the, the bride. And uh, he said, I've always had a dinosaur, a pink dinosaur inside of me. Um, and blah, blah, blah. All right, so they're talking. Um, and Chris Jericho, by the way, you know, thinking about it now, I'm not surprised he chose that, um, you know, pink feminine bride costume to wear um, because he is a huge, uh, you know, anti-bullying kind of person. Um, you know, his uh, niece, I think it was, was being bullied at school and he like went on whatever it was, TikTok maybe or something and was just like, you know, you people need to leave everybody alone. You know, bullying isn't cool, blah, blah, blah. So what better way to sort of, um, you know, I, I don't know, stave off bullying as being a huge jacked up dude wearing a pink bride outfit, basically saying F you haters, you know, like I, I, I am who I am and I don't care. Um, I love that about him, you know, and I think The Rock, you know, is similar. He's very, uh, you know, anti-bullying and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, all right. So it was uh, Chris Jericho. Thank you guys for, for switching me. You know, his voice tonight definitely helped. Didn't hear it last week. I really didn't. And I know uh, several of the Fozzy songs. I wasn't really hearing that tone. Um, but that's that's cool that uh, it was him. All right. So uh, I'm going to, well, I, should we talk about the clues now or go to the tape? I don't know. Um uh, you know, we'll we'll just I'll I'll go to the tape. We'll talk here in a second about the snowstorm and the avocado. I'll give you all the original clues, and then we'll see who's going home, and uh, I'll make my guesses at that point. Well, no surprise here. The avocado is the one who uh, is is going home, and that's great for me because that is the one I was one hundred percent on. But uh, you know what? The snowstorm performed first, so let's uh, go over the clues for her, and uh, we'll go from there. So the clue as she was coming out was can't sit down. Um, so to me, this is a stand-up comic. Um, and again, the panel, I don't think, sees those clues. But uh, but we did, and I think this is a stand-up for sure. Um, she says, to do what I do, you have to be cold-blooded. 
I can be seen as a total B lizard. Uh, you know, like a, I could be seen as a total B, but she's a snowstorm, so, storm, so a B lizard. Uh, but I can be the sweetest thing. I started working at 18. It took two years to see myself on screen. Uh, we see a speed dating sign. She says, uh, things haven't always been pitch perfect. And then we see a welcome mat. Uh, and she's saying, thank you, next, from uh, Ariana Grande. And the guests from the panel, um, Ken thought, oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is an important one. Uh, John Lovitz, the clue uh, he gave, said that she has shared the stage with both Rob Lowe and Ken Jennings. Now, uh, <laughs> I run a movie trivia night. We actually just did a Rob Lowe category. So I I've been going through all of Rob Lowe's movies this week. But, of course, he's done a lot of TV work as well. So you've got, you know, The West Wing, uh, Parks and Recreation, a lot of other shows since then. And, uh, you know, before then, too, The Grinder, And uh, currently he's on the, the 911 Lone Star. So a lot of people have worked with him. And then Ken, a lot of people have worked with him, too, because he's been a lot of, like, um, directed DVD comedy movies with probably a lot of stand-ups, I would guess. Um, so I, I don't know about that clue being super helpful, but, you know, we can rule out, I, I think, a few people. Um, so Ken thought it could be Heather Graham because of the Austin Powers movies and she was in The Hangover. Um, but then he settled on Katherine Hahn, uh, who has definitely worked with a lot of people. Don't know if she's worked with Rob Lowe, but she's definitely worked with Ken. Um, Nicole thought it could be Zoe Deschanel or uh, Eliza Schlesinger. That's a pretty good guess, and she does a lot of uh, shows like that. She's not to tell the truth all the time. Uh, Robin thought it could be Aubrey Plaza because of the Parks and Rec thing, or Whitney Cummings. Um, I really liked that Whitney Cummings guess, actually. Um, but uh, just a brief purview of her filmography I don't think she's been in anything with, with Ken. I don't know about Rob Lowe, but I was looking for the, the Ken stuff, and I, I just I didn't see it. Um, I don't hate the Aubrey Plaza guess. Um, she's certainly worked with Rob Lowe in Parks and Rec. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know if she's worked with Ken. Um, the person I was thinking it was kind of from the clue package and even from the singing was maybe Kristen Ritter. Because she was in Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. And so you've got the bee lizard and then the welcome mat, you know, at the end. Welcome to my apartment, you know, kind of thing. Um, but I don't think she's a stand-up, really. And uh, we didn't. I didn't get any Marvel clues. You know, she's Jessica Jones in, in the Marvel show. Um, so I'm very glad the snowstorm is uh, moving on to next week because I don't know who this is. Like, no clue. Um, I think it is somebody that is funny because we're on comedy roast night. The clue can't stay, uh, can't sit down tells me it is a stand up comedian, but you know, there's a, a thousand of those that could be viable. Um, and many of them have worked with Ken certainly in different movies. Rob Lowe, I think is a little harder. Um, but again, the guy's done so many things. Um, I, I really, I don't, I don't know. Um, but obviously I have to make a guess. I can't just say I don't know and then move on to the next person. I, I need your help for sure because I, I think whatever I say is not going to be right. Um, you know, the whole always been pitch perfect thing. I was trying to look at like, okay, who was in pitch perfect that maybe is a stand-up that isn't, you know, Anna Kendrick because she's not really a stand-up. She's an actress. Rebel Wilson is not a stand-up. Um, and I couldn't really think of anything there. So I think that was just a, a ruse. Um you know, I started working at 18. I, that could be anybody. Um, so I don't know. Um, I, I don't hate the Whitney Cummings guess. I just don't think she's worked with both of those people. Um, so I, you know what? I, Nicole hasn't been on it too much this season, but uh, Eliza Schlesinger makes sense, I think, um, with some of the clues. The welcome mat. Is there, like, welcome to... There's that show, Welcome to Flatch, on Fox. I don't think Rob Lowe is on that, though. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'll just say Eliza Schlesinger for now. I'm, I know I'm going to change it because you guys are going to tell me the right thing. So uh, we won't worry about that too much now. But all right. Then we've got the avocado. Now, I'm 100% on this person. I didn't even hear him sing, to be honest. Uh, when they did the, the Battle Royale, even I fast-forwarded um, to the snowstorm singing just so I could 
figure out what song it was. Uh, they did You're So Vain by Carly Simon. Drew Carey came out and sort of announced it and, and did a little, little, little roast of uh, both of them. Um, so here is the clue for uh, the avocado. The clue, he, when he was walking out, he's a dude's dude. Okay, um, he says, I'm funny now, but light years away from where I started. We see an eagle uh, flying into like a construction site or whatever. He said, I started in construction. I was an average Joe. Um, I was getting my hands dirty, but I wanted to be in the AC. I wanted an AC job. So I took a risk on a new venue. We see a microphone. Uh, he said, I became part of a billion dollar industry. He sang Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles. I can't believe he got through over the bride. Honestly, it was not good. Uh, but this person's not known as a singer. Uh, and the clue from John Lovitz was that he's this person has a face you want to listen to. Um, you know, which is a backhanded joke, you know, in the in the comic industry for, you know, an ugly person. Um, but face you want to listen to, so we're back to sort of the microphone thing. So the clues uh, from the panel, Nicole thought it could be Harrison Ford or Joe Rogan. The Harrison Ford thing, I think, was mostly because started in construction, part of a billion-dollar industry, Star Wars. Um, but she went with Joe Rogan, uh, you know, at, at the end there. Uh, well, not even at the end, but, you know, at the first part. Um, she was sort of between the two, and she said Joe Rogan. She got on the podcast tip. Jenny McCarthy said it could be Mark Maron. Huge podcast there and a stand-up comedian. Uh, Robin thought it could be Tim Allen, which is funny because he didn't even put together the uh, I'm funny now but light years away from where I was. He didn't even think of that part, but uh, he just thought with the carpentry clues and stuff it could be Tim Allen. Um, all right, so at the end, uh, they all stuck with their original guesses. We did not hear from Ken originally, and he said it could be Dax Shepard when they came to him at the end. All right, but I've got it. I didn't even hear the voice, and I know this. This is... For sure, 100%. If it's not him, I am never doing a show again. Like, every single clue. So, okay, number one, he he said AC twice, right? I wanted a job in the AC. So, you know, I took a chance, and they put me in the AC. Okay, so he said it twice. I'm like, all right, this has got to be initials. All right, well, who's got AC initials? Okay, then when he started talking about the, the, the microphone, billion-dollar industry, one of the early... Very successful podcast, and I believe he's still doing it today, is Adam Carolla, AC. Also, the clue when he came out, Dude's Dude, he was on The Man Show, and then the eagle that we saw, the eagle character on The Mass Singer years and years ago was Dr. Drew, his old uh, co-host from the Loveline radio show. Again, face you want to listen to, not just podcasting, but he was a big radio star uh, for a long, long time. And I don't know if he did stand-up or not, but he's done, you know, funny things his, his whole career. You know, The Man Show, he was on morning radio in Los Angeles. You know, he was funny doing that. This is one million percent Adam Carolla. I'm so glad that he went home because I did not need help on him. I need help on the snowstorm. So let's just make it official. Let's do the... T I, like, I could literally not even do the ticket off. I could just turn it off right now and we would all know uh, that I'm right. But here... Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he looks so sweaty in there. I'm a huge Adam Carolla fan, by the way. Um, his podcast has gotten... His um, podcast has gotten a little uh, political for my taste. But um, what's funny is... All right, Jenny's saying she was about to say uh, that it was Adam Carolla, but the, the costume looked too small. And I was thinking the same thing, but the clues were just too perfect. It, it could not be anybody else but Adam Carolla. But... I agree with Jenny. Like the the costume was, it didn't look much taller than Nick. Nick's not super tall. Adam Carolla is known for being very tall. Um, he's also been on Dancing with the Stars, so you know he he does these kind of shows. Um, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I boy, I, and maybe he's uh, shrinking in his later. Oh, he is a little taller though than the Nick. Uh, it was kind of hard to tell where the eyes were in in that. Um, in that costume and in fact they didn't actually take off the mask they just sort of um like peeled off the 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 front part of it um and he says yeah i, lo I look shorter in here all right well there i mean look I, it there was no doubt in my mind it was adam Grohl. that was such a hundred percenter um for me so all right well i've i've been doing great this season i've only missed a few and that one i'd never even heard of what was that levy on what was his name 
Le Le'Veon Bell, I never heard of him, so I was never going to get him. The other two, I don't know. Um, but Snowstorm, I really need your help on her. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't hate my guests, but I would have to really look up and see, okay, did she work with these people? I don't know. Um, Aubrey Plaza certainly has, but she's also not really, is she is, I guess she's a stand-up comedian. I guess she started that way. I don't know. Um, Robin's actually been on fire, so it could be Aubrey Plaza. I don't know, but all right. Uh, I don't know if there is a new episode next week because it is the night before Thanksgiving. So sometimes, uh, networks run other things, um, and if there is one, I'm going to have to crank out a video very quickly because I'm going home Thursday morning to uh, see my family for Thanksgiving. So we'll see. If not, I will I will see you all in two weeks. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.